think is very important is that Nigeria as a nation need to grow and develop the value system of justice because Nigerians deserve justice in every part of the country and so we will we believe that it is important to use this matter to prove to the world and of course to establish the fact that our clients are innocent and um, that justice must be done. Two eight out of the 12 supporters of Yoruba Freedom Fighter Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday, were arraigned today, the 22nd of November 2021, on allegations of terrorism, possession of firearms, and cyber crimes. Where the terrorism was manufactured, uh, we do not know, but we are willing to proceed with the matter because it will be in the interest of justice that um, the court will decide on all of the counts charges before the court. In the wisdom of the DSS, um, they are charging just two. But we actually, we are going to contend with the DSS on their capacity to charge them to court. But then we don't want to go into that now because the day is still very young. And we believe that proceeding in the matter, all of these issues will be addressed. It will be recalled that the duo Amudat Babatunde Jamu Oyetunji were granted bail on the 3rd of September 2021 after spending months in the custody of the Department of State Service, who through its lawyer SM Bello in suit number FHC ABJ CR 305 2021 had filed five court charges against them. When arraigned before Justice Obiara Egoatu of the Federal High Court on Monday, Barista Balumi Olajin Bessi, counsel to the defendants, stated that the DSS does not have the capacity in law to prefer the charge against them on the issue of terrorism for the Attorney General of the Federation. As to the appearance of the counsel from DSS, because we believe that the DSS do not have the capacity in law to prefer the charges against them on issue of terrorism. It is the AGF himself which is supposed to carry out that process. But then um, the court in its wisdom believe that uh, we should file our application if you are not comfortable with the charges as the case may be. The accused lawyer Ola Jengbasi, who had earlier described the charges against his client as being frivolous without limbs, said the case cannot proceed without a qualified interpreter as his clients were not very good with English language. Justice Egua too therefore adjourned the case to the 22nd of January 2022. Defendants in court, they are Yoruba people, they are not um, very, very good with English language. I will say to the court that we cannot proceed without a qualified and competent interpreter so that our clients can listen to the charges being preferred against them in the court. And so today there is no interpreter in the court, and so the court had to adjourn in its wisdom so that we can reconvey, hopefully by the 25th of January, 22nd of January. The secret police had alleged Oyatunde was in possession of firearms while Lady K was alleged of promoting terrorist acts through her Facebook account.